The Third Quartet, composed in New York City shortly after World War II in 1946, is one of Diamond's most moving works and described in Gramophone's June 2002 issue among the most beautiful quartets penned by an American. work is dedicated to the woman he lived with for many years, Alila Cornell, a talented painter who had at the time recently committed slow suicide. The quartet ends with an extended 11 and a half minute aching, moving slow movement that Diamond sensed seemed to have been dictated by the shadow of his friend. Quartet begins innocently as long melodic lines pursue one another in a quiet, precise, neoclassic setting. three and a half minutes of quietude and serenity. The second movement Allegro Vivo paints a very different picture, a picture of optimism that sweeps confidently across the landscape. burst forth. The third movement, Allegretto, begins in a lovely major key, with melodies bantering about, insistently back and forth, evoking a mature, tender love. Then, the finale. Diamond tells me what he remembered. When I got home one night, I saw them bringing a stretcher down from the loft that we shared. She had a friend who was a photographer and who had hydrochloric acid in the woodshed for developing film. And Alila in her depression had gone out there and drunk almost half the bottle of acid. And for one whole year, she was a dying wraith. It is a song of long memories, quiet forgiveness, and tranquil acceptance of some sad event from years ago in another life. A coming to terms at last. The last movement has a strange story I find difficult to talk about, Diamond said. It is still so close to me. 
It was a year after she died, and I was sitting at my Steinway, and the light became very peculiar outside. It was as though a storm were brewing. The clouds were all dark and swept right by, making the room very dark. So I put on just the left side lamp so that I could continue working. I don't know what it is, but I've had supernatural experiences. As I was working on the last movement, the sudden change into the adagio was being dictated by Alila, who, I sensed, was very close to me. I could feel her near me, so I began to write. Diamond won the New York Music Critics Circle Award for this work. <laughs> 